Hey up guys! So today's film that I'm reviewing is the latest film from director Mario Heller and it's the Fred Rogers biopic, A Beautiful Day in the Neighbourhood. On paper, a biopic about someone who was relentlessly kind as Mr. Fred Rogers sounds like a disastrous idea for a movie. Narratively speaking, a film needs conflict for our protagonist. He needs to be flawed in order for us to observe him, learn and grow from said flaw. And if you haven't seen the wonderful documentary that came out last year, Won't You Be My Neighbour, which was all about Fred Rogers, then you won't know that Mr. Fred Rogers was regarded as a national treasure, a hero, and to an extent, infallible. Not exactly the stuff of great drama. But director Mario Heller's approach to telling Mr. Rogers' story isn't to frame him as the focal character, but rather show the ripple effects of how his kindness affected those who were touched by his presence. And the end product is a film that will make you feel all gooey in your seat and more optimistic about the world. Don't let the trailer fool you. The main character in A Beautiful Day in the Neighbourhood is not in fact Mr. Fred Rogers, played in this film by the only other person on the planet that might be regarded as infallible, Tom Hanks. This film is based off an article of the same name by journalist Tom Junode. Screenwriters Micah Fitzsimmons Blue and Noah Harpster draw inspiration from Junode's article, but change up his name to Lloyd Vogel, who's played in this film by Matthew Rhys. Add a few more character flaws to Lloyd for Mr. Fred Rogers to help fix, and you've got yourself the feel-good yarn of 2019. Like Mario Heller's previous Oscar-nominated film, Can You Ever Forgive Me? A Beautiful Day in the Neighborhood is also set in New York in the 90s. Lloyd is an investigative journalist at Esquire magazine, however his expose pieces have garnered him an unfavourable reputation and now fewer and fewer people are agreeing to be interviewed by him. Lloyd is also a husband and a father to his public service attorney wife Andrea, who's played by Susan Kelechi Watson, and his baby boy Gavin. They're still in the adjustment period of becoming first-time parents and trying to find the ideal work-home-life balance. After an altercation at his sister's wedding with his estranged father Jerry, who's played by Chris Cooper, in comes Lloyd's lifeline in the form of Mr. Fred Rogers. Initially, he dismisses his editor's assignment to write a profile piece on Fred as a pointless puff piece, but as he gets to know the man on the set of his TV show, Mr. Rogers' Neighborhood, he sees there's more layers to this hokey TV presenter and that he's more complex than he anticipated. The dynamic between Lloyd and Fred is the emotional core of the film, and both Reese and Hanks are on excellent form. Tom Hanks's natural, warm magnetism works perfectly to his advantage. He's been equipped with a pair of fake bushy eyebrows, and Tom Hanks' physical resemblance to Fred Rogers is uncanny, but you can tell he's also taken great care in capturing the posture and the hand gestures of his subject. Fred Rogers was also a man who listened. He really took his time to wait for people to respond when he asked them questions. In this day and age, the sound of silence can be very uncomfortable for most people. Take a look at me, it's why I'm always constantly talking. But Mario Heller adopts Fred's patient demeanour into the way that she paces this film. At times, a beautiful day can feel like it's moving at a glacial pace. There are moments which really stop to let you sit in that moment. At times it can feel like the world is whizzing past us and we don't stop to smell the roses anymore. Of course, that's just one of the many positive messages of the ethos of Fred Rogers which Hella excavates. The prickly father-son relationship between Lloyd and Jerry is what carries many of the thematic issues. The most visible one being masculinity in crisis. Lloyd's inability to deal with his emotions is aided by a charming scene between Lloyd Fred and a bunch of Fred's puppets from his TV series. And when Jerry's health takes a turn for the worse, it's the sage advice of Fred that gives Lloyd the courage to let go of the anger that he has towards his father. As Mr. Fred Rogers says, forgiveness is a choice that we make to release someone from the feelings of anger that we have at them. This film also has a lot of charm in the way that it's edited together. Heller cleverly and seamlessly cuts between the old 4x3 TV aspect ratio when we're in Fred's neighborhood of make-believe, and when we transition into Lloyd's world, it glides back into widescreen, and it's done very well. To sum up, guys, A Beautiful Day in the Neighborhood is the warm, cinematic ray of light that this world desperately needs. With the impossible-to-resist themes of kindness compassion and forgiveness, this comedic drama is going to melt your hearts and tickle your funny bones. So it's time to ask those three questions. Firstly, would I watch this again? Definitely would love to watch this again. Question number two, am I going to recommend it for you guys? It's another yes. And question number three, 
What score am I going to give it out of 10? I am going to give A Beautiful Day in the Neighbourhood a score of 9 out of 10. There we go, guys. That is my review for A Beautiful Day in the Neighbourhood. But as always, this is just one bloke's opinion. I want to hear from you guys. Have you guys seen A Beautiful Day in the Neighbourhood? What did you think of it? Whatever your thoughts or opinions are, be sure to let your voice be heard in that comment section down below. If you guys are enjoying my videos from the Venice and Toronto Film Festivals, be sure to click that subscribe button so you don't miss any of the upcoming ones. And of course, if you want to follow us on Twitter or Instagram, all those links are in that video description down below. Thank you guys so much for watching. For more things related to movies, TV, and popcorn culture, I'm Luke Airfield, and I'll see you next time.